As storage administrators, you're the game masters of the data world. You know, kind of like walking into an old arcade, hitting the joystick on your favorite game, and owning the leaderboard. Except here, there's never any lines and zero out of order signs. <laughs> your mission, to craft an unbeatable, buttery smooth experience for your users to access their data. But you can't do it without fortress level resilience that'll save your digital kingdom from user errors and ransomware. So are you ready to become the ultimate champion of data resiliency and reaching for high scores that set you apart as the hero that you are? Well then let's power up with Pure One and leave your quarters because Pure One's free to play. Remember when we launched our epic data protection assessment feature in Pure One? Well, if you missed that game changer, then hit pause and check out the video right up here. While the data protection assessment is all about the configuration of your storage, the resiliency score is a measuring stick of how well you're adopting data protection features like safe mode and replication. It's like the high score you never knew you needed to achieve. So what is the secret to getting a high score? The resiliency score will be somewhere between zero and five, with five being a perfect score. This score is weighted based on the adoption of basic and advanced protection features. For basic features, you'll get a weighted point for snapshots or two for snapshots with safe mode, and you'll even get two more for replication. For advanced features such as active cluster, active DR, or offloading to public cloud or Flashblade, you'll get an additional weighted point. Let's take a look at an example. Say you have a flash array and the hosts connected to it see 100 tibibytes worth of data written to the array. This is effectively known as virtual capacity. Of those 100 tib, 25 are protected by snapshots, while 55 tib are protected by snapshots and safe mode. We convert these into percentages of the overall virtual capacity and multiply them by the score of each feature. In this case, we have a basic score of 1.3. Now, Let's say 60 tib of that data is also being replicated to another array by active DR. That would give us an advanced score of 0.6, plus because it's replication, you also get a buff to your basic score for an additional 1.2 points, bringing our total score to 3.1. Not bad. So as you can see, getting a perfect score may not be for everyone. Instead, we recommend reaching out to your account team and partners to determine what the right target score is for your organization. And keep in mind, this score only applies to the adoption of pure storage features. So if you have a low score, but you're protecting your data with something else, well, maybe that's fine. In fact, we'll even point out where you're using third-party data protection plugins like Veeam and Commvault. The resiliency score can also be broken down by individual flash arrays by selecting the resiliency score table. This will give you the total score for each array as well as a breakdown of the basic and advanced scores. And if you want just the scores for a few arrays, well, you can apply a filter and the resiliency score shown will be for the arrays that you've selected. With the flash array resiliency score, you're ready for the big leagues. No more game over screens for you, it's high scores all the way. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, give us a big thumbs up. And until I see you in the next episode, stay pure.